Okay, so this is a preliminary response to a kidney's video um, stating that <laughs> Brutius Grey Rat could not survive in the ReZero universe. Now, I think it's a good video, it's very thoughtful, well thought out, very good points, except for the fact that he makes a lot of assumptions regarding the path that Rudius Grey Rat would follow if he found himself in the ReZero universe at the age of 17. First off, why would he look for Amelia's insignia? Why would he go to the same area and run into Amelia? What do you add to that? If he found himself at the age of 17, after he'd already been married in the universe, the first thing he would do would be to collect as much information about this new world as possible and try to find someone like Seven Star who would know how to create the necessary runes in order to get him back to his universe. He was already familiar at that point with the necessary uh, methodology by which to travel between worlds. So he would expand on that in order to try to get back to his universe where his wife and his loved ones are at and where he is working with uh, the demon god Orsted. Now, another thing is that I feel that Echidna really underestimates how wise and strategic and cautious Rudius is. Now, it's not just that he has magical abilities and thus, unlike Subaru, has the ability to engage in combat effectively. He also is more like Abel, or Vincent, uh, the emperor of the emperor uh, then he is like Subaru he, Abel is calculating cold Machiavellian strategic and he thinks ahead he's logical and he always has a plan now if Subaru is a one out of ten in terms of long-term strategic thinking and analysis and logic and being able to make long-term plans and consider numerous different factors ahead of time, and Abel is a 10 out of 10, I would say that Ruiz is at least a 8 out of 10. Before engaging in combat with Orsted, he engaged, he utilized many methodologies to ensure that he had the best chance possible of winning against Orsted. He didn't choose to fight Orsted because he wanted to, or out of some more moral principles, he did it because he felt he had no other option but to fight Orsted for his life and for the well-being of his family. So that's another thing to keep in mind about him is that he doesn't engage in fights that he doesn't, that either are, that he doesn't think he can win unless he feels he has no other choice. So anyway, he, he spent months developing armor. He chose the, the location, the battlefield of the fight. He prepared many different countermeasures to Orsted's powers uh, and he spent months strategizing before he engaged in combat with the demon god Orsted, and then he held his own against the demon god Orsted, who at the very least could probably take out, you know, at least 80% of the Sin Archbishops, the demon god Orsted. He's extremely powerful, and, you know, uh, Rudius Grey Rat held his own against him very effectively. And if he was in the ReZero universe, of course what he would do is look for ways to improve his magic, improve his ability to survive, and avoid making un any, un any unnecessary uh, enemies, because his primary motive would be get back to his loved ones and to his wives. His wives. His multiple wives. Spoiler, sorry. Um, so yes, I think that he, Rudy Square Rat would survive, he would find a way to get back to his original, well, a second universe, the Jabba's reincarnation universe, um, and he would not, you know, befriend Amelia, go to Amelia's mansion, and all that unnecessarily. Uh, please comment below with your insights and analysis um, so that I can make another video that is more well researched, has better points, is more nuanced, and that I can expand on and now also edit so that there are relevant pictures in the video instead of just me talking at Planet Fitness. Have a great time, and thank you for anyone uh, in advance who provides me with insights and knowledge and wisdom regarding this issue. And it's a very interesting idea. Thank you.
Please subscribe, please like, please comment below.